In this video, I'm going to be using a 16-sided die to create a Bitcoin address, a public and private key uh, that we can use to send funds to uh, on the Bitcoin network. So this is kind of a fun way just to learn some of the, the numbers behind what uh, what's happening with a Bitcoin address. It is a pretty good way to generate a, a completely random number. Um, so, but let's just use this for educational purposes. It may not be the best way. Just take that uh, uh, as you may. Um, use this for educational purposes. And if you're not quite sure what's going on, um, just make sure you watch more videos, read more, uh, learn about uh, how Bitcoin works before you uh, trust large amounts of money to addresses that you create. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to be rolling these uh, these dice. I have two of them. They're 16-sided, so they're numbered 1 through 16. Uh, you can buy these online. They actually have some that are actually hexadecimal, so it goes uh, 0 through 9 and then A through F. Um, and that's what we're going to be generating as a hexadecimal number. But since these ones are just all numbers, 1 to 16, uh, we're going to tra treat the 16 as if it's a 0, and we're going to treat um, the 10 through 15 as if it's A through F. Okay, so I'll show you how that's done. I'm just going to record it here. I'll write it down in a notepad. Um, and before I get started, I just want to let you know I have other videos too where I show you how to use just regular six-sided dice uh, to create a Bitcoin wallet as well. And also how to create a Bitcoin wallet just flipping a coin randomly 256 times to create a random number for your address as well. So I'll go ahead and do my first roll here. And uh, it looks like I have 4 and 11. So the 4 gets entered as a 4 and the 11 gets entered as a B. Uh, you can do capital. I'll just hit capital loss. I'll do all of mine capital, but it doesn't matter if you do capital, uppercase, or lowercase. Uh, we need we need 32 bytes total. Every roll is a byte. So we actually need that. If you just have one of these, you'd have to roll it 64 times. Since I have two, I'm just going to do 32 rolls total and then record uh, the results. Um, so I'll just do the next one here. Looks like I have 8 and 13. So 8 and then 13 will be, um, you know, I better create a little key here real quick. So I've got A is uh, 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. All right, so I'll just, this is kind of my key so I, I know which rules are what. So what did I roll? A 13. So a 13 looks like it is D. All right, so I'll roll again. I have 5 and 5, easy. And then roll again, 13 and 14. So that's D and E. And now that I have 8, I'm going to hit the return key, and I'll just do... Um, Eight rows of eight, that'll get me 64 total, so I don't have to count every number and make sure I have enough. Uh, seven and 12, so seven, and then the 12 is C. This is hexadecimal, uh, the numbering system that we're using. I have a one and a 16, so the 16 gets treated like a zero, just in this numbering system. You could really assign them any numbers, you just have to make sure that you use correct numbers for the hexadecimal system. Two A. All right, so now we've generated a random hexadecimal number, a uh, very large number. Uh, we're just going to go go ahead and take out all of the returns here. So, oops. Uh, okay. So now we have a very long random number in hexadecimal format. We're going to highlight the whole thing, right click and go to copy. So we need to convert this hexadecimal into a, uh, a private key that can be used uh, on the Bitcoin network. So we're going to search uh, bit address, and it's bitaddress.org is this website we're going to. Uh, when you first visit bitaddress.org, it'll try and generate a random number for you, which is fine. But we're just going to click on wallet details here, and we can put in our own private number because we have one. So make sure we have that copied. We'll right click and go paste. And it says here, here's the different formats it accepts. Base, 60, uh, base 6, base 64, um, hexadecimal, which is what we're using, hex. Um, enter the, uh, right click and paste our uh, hexadecimal number in and click view details. And we can see the details for this brand new, never been used uh, Bitcoin address. Uh, here's the address here. If we right click and go to copy, uh, we can go to a site like blockchain.info. And we can paste that public address here. This is, the public address is just completely fine to share with anyone. We can see that this has a zero balance, which it definitely should. It's a, it's a brand new, never been used, never been seen address on the internet before. 
Um, we have all of our information about the private key here. This is the uh, the private key that we would use um, with most wallet software to if we needed to import uh, this uh, this address. Um, yeah, so that's it. And if you'd like, you can actually download this entire website. It's on GitHub, and so you can run it offline. Uh, it's just an HTML file. You can unplug your computer from the internet and run it locally. Uh, also, I have uh, another video talking about um, uh, BitKey. Dot io, um, which is just a, a a operating system that you can run off of a jump drive. You reboot reboot your computer, and it keeps all the information secure and private. Uh, so, might you check that out too if you're interested in uh, in being even more secure in generating um, private keys and private addresses. Um, appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos, and we'll catch you on the next one.